So what's up everybody? Today we're gonna take the boat out. It's been a while since I took the boat out. Um, I would tell you I'm gonna try to go fishing, but most times when I come out with the boat, I just having a good time just, just driving around, you know, to be honest with you guys. I normally fish on the boat when I have somebody likes with me um, by myself today. As you can see the, it's right about, right, it's back there somewhere. Um, so we're gonna cruise around the, the, the canal today. We're at C14 Canal in Margate, um, which goes all the way down to the beach, but we won't be going that far. Um, I'll bring a rod and reel. If I happen to catch something or see something worth to catch, I'll do it. Other than that, I'm gonna just be chilling to be honest. I haven't taken my boat out in over a month. I'm um, really busy with work, and when I'm not busy with work, I'm busy doing other things. So it's a nice day out. I'm off work. It's a nice Sunday. I went out for a cruise, guys. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the boat because you know I painted it blue. I've made a video, but I painted it blue to match the truck. So yeah, here it goes. All right, guys, give you a view of the boat since I painted it. And I added a few things on, but here's my 16 foot skiff that I built. Um, I got my reliable six horsepower Johnson. It works, so I'm keeping that on here for now. Um, it's been kind of hard to try to find um, something bigger. I do want to get a 15. I do miss my 25, but that's that. I have the pulling platform. See that at the top, what you see. Uh, I took out the flooring because it just wasn't working out um, with the rain. Got a casting platform now. Um, the same seat I guess on top of the polling platform. Got a ruler up here. Uh, dry storage, just so cool I just sat down. And on this side we got um the trolling motor guys. So and the battery for the trolling motor and extra paddle just in case this ever gives you a problem. Which it hasn't, but you never know. So you always gonna have an extra case of something to get back. But yeah, this is the lake we're gonna be launching out of today, my normal spot. See have some big bluegills right there. If you see one there, there's one there. There's a few right there. Um, I don't see any peacocks or anything worth catching yet. But we're gonna travel down that way once we get all this unhooked. And we'll be down to the fish today, guys. Right now we're gonna just look for a nice spot. It's a nice day out. I see not much people out, not much boat traffic. See the canal is empty in front of me, and it's empty behind me. So oh, it's a nice day on the river to relax and stuff. I kind of want to find a tree to sit on there. I can just take a brought some snacks and a cooler down there. I might take a break. What about Carolina Skiff? over there I wanted one of those as my first boat but it's a lot cheaper to build your own boat which is what I got now so normally I fish down here um, I'm gonna try and get the bridge and head over there and try that way first oh it's a big tilapia over there on the bank yeah I'm gonna try down this way first normally there's a lot of peacocks and stuff up here so we'll see um, what we can find I seen a turtle down up in the water. I mean, I mean, let me slow down. For a minute, you can see it's it's pretty clear. You guys can see in the water. So. A lot of weed up. Oh, tilapia right there. I don't know if you cut that on camera. It's empty on this side. Good for boat fishing. Just cruise around. A little or a mullet. Mullet just came from there. Yeah, so this is bracket water, so it's um, salt and fresh. Another mullet. All right, so for those of you who don't know, my little Johnson down there, first outboard bar um, for my last boat. Is that a big tilapia? It's a big tilapia. Um, with this size of boat and this engine, 
I only max out probably like eight or nine miles an hour. Because there oh, it's a peacock. If you can see straight ahead, it's a peacock. It's right in front of the boat. Uh, he's spooked, but he's right. He's right there. I like to go slow um, in the tunnels because I don't. It's too dark for me to see. Well, I can kind of see the bottom. Or what's underneath me? I don't want to hit a stump or a rock or something. So normally, when I'm in tunnels or going through tunnels, I just slow down just a tad bit. So if I do hit anything that I don't see, I'm not breaking the propeller and be stuck stranded out here trying to change one of the pins. Cruise along at night. This is so cool to come through. I turn that trolling motor on and grab a boat. Have a couple lights. Um, this is a good time out. I haven't done nighttime fishing in a while. Actually, I've only done like twice. But the two times that it did go was actually pretty fun. Me and a couple of friends. So that is cool. It's just a beautiful day out there. Let's take a look at this. That's what I'm talking about. When I come out, I don't really fish. I just let's be hanging out. Let's see you crab trap over there. I don't know there's a crab trap. There's a bunch of iguanas. Hey guys, let me know. Should I do an iguana hunting video from the boat? Because when I'm cruising this canal, there's a bunch of iguanas everywhere. I don't see any over here, but it's a bunch of them ganged up right about there. Can't zoom in because I'm handle one hand, uh, phone the other hand. So we'll just cruise around, find something to do. I'll probably stop off somewhere, turn the motor off, and throw a couple of casts. It's a huge iguana up there by that tree. You guys can see it towards by the roots. Yeah, I really want to get a, an air rifle and go um, iguana hunting. Oh, guys, another boat out there in front of us. So we catch up with him. Yeah, there's just a bunch of iguanas out here. I'm, I do want to try iguana hunting. I'm just curious to see what it's like. Um, I got a friend who wants to try a catch and cook with iguana. There's a, yeah, there's a big one right there as well. So this way is packed to full of weeds, if you guys can see down there. Um, I'm going to go this way. I've never gone this way before. Normally I go that way. That way leads to a dead end. It's very shallow. Um, I don't know how much charge I have on my trolling motor. And I don't feel like driving outward through all that muck. So we're gonna just, once I turn this corner, I'm just coast. Um, throw the trolling motor on, grab a paddle, and I wish I could just, ugh, I didn't bring an anchor to, to anchor down, but we'll see what we can do, guys. All right, so bad news, guys. Um, let me slow down. I'm currently fishing, and I forgot all the lures in the truck all the lures in the truck. Got the rod, I go to town um, a lure, and I forgot the lures, the whole box of lures and stuff like in the truck. So now I'm gonna just cruise around. Um, and yeah, that's, sorry guys, there won't be no fishing today because <laughs> I forgot everything. I'm moving at a good speed for a trolling motor. I mean, the engine's off. You know, we're just moving with this little trolling motor here. Going at a good speed. This is a nice house. This is a nice house down here. Look at all these iguanas. I seriously need to get like an air rifle to start shooting iguanas. They're invasive and I like hunting. And regular hunting is too expensive. Iguana hunting is free. So this is where we are now. We're gonna head towards Southgate. Um, I have a bunch of gas left in 
in this uh, my gas can that I want to get used up. I want to take out a little over a quarter, and this motor burns almost nothing. So I'm gonna cruise around a bit today. I mean, it's too early; it's still two o'clock. So I'm gonna cruise around for a bit, and then probably head back in. All right, we are approaching Southgate. I want to slow down because I don't know if there's other boat traffic coming on. So let's see. Wait, this is where we at? I don't see anything to the right, to the left. Oh, dead iguana. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, it smells like dead fish. Anybody out here coming? Oh, we're good, guys. We're good. Um, let's go up to that bridge. No, that bridge. Uh, that bridge closer. There's another boat down there. We'll head this way. Man, guys, when I was out here with the 25, I would have been down to that bridge. Less than about two and a half minutes, three minutes. With this little motor, let me show you guys wide open throttle. And this is it. Maybe I'm going six. Um, I don't think it's wide open throttle actually. Yes, it is. So this is our this is our, our limit that we can go with those six horsepower in this big 16 foot skiff with all the stuff I have attached. But I mean, we're out here, guys. You see, we out here. We we chilling. All right, guys. We got another boat coming up to our left. He's out. That boat is out. Man, see, that's what I need. I need to give me a new motor. I'm just not trying. I mean, I have the cash to buy an outboard right now, but I'm not really too fond of spending money on something that's not technically needed. This motor does me fine. It gets me where I need to go. I'm cruising. Man, that, that dude is out. He is hauling, bro. That dude is out. Skiff, look at him. Let's give all the Oh, okay. Hopefully I don't get I don't get I don't get waked here. Let's go to the boat for <laughs> Yeah, the wake made me drop my phone. Plus I was trying to say hi to everybody. But um yeah that's I guess I got some of the boats I've seen today. So there's some people out here today. Um, maybe go somebody's dock. It's a nice house here. That would have been bad if I dropped my phone in the water. That would have been very bad. I have insurance, but I don't think it, it would have covered a uh, uh, missing phone. And this looks deep, as you guys see. I'm probably going to get to that bridge and turn around. I might turn around beforehand. Only because I'm just chilling, but uh, just trying to show you guys. A day on the lake with a skiff. Um, since, since once you know, guys, we just, we just tuned in. I forgot all the fishing supplies in my truck. Brought the rod, forgot the supplies. So I'm out here just chilling, riding around, enjoying my day, pretty much. This is this is therapy for me, guys. This is, this is so much therapy. So much needed therapy. Cruising out on the river. On the river. It would be nice if it was moving like a little green skiff, a, a seafoam green skiff. That dude is... I don't even see him. That dude, that dude's gone. That dude's straight gone. So we'll cruise around and see. There goes a jet ski, and here goes my wake. Yeah, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, okay, 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 okay. The jet ski out, man. Everybody's taking their little watercrafts out on the weekends. It is Sunday, it was what you expect. It's cool. Everybody's hanging out, relaxing. Currently, I don't think about I don't know where that jet ski came from. I didn't see him a minute ago. But yeah, if I come out here hunting, guys, you can see on the side there's a bunch of these iguana holes and they're literally all over this place so if you come around like 12 or 1 in the afternoon you'll be sitting down by the water by the bank so if i do decide to get into iguana hunting this would be my location out here this would definitely be my location bring a big cooler start collecting them um like i said I, i've never done this before it's just more or less i think it'll bring a lot of new viewers over to the channel doing some iguana hunting look at, look at all those holes i was telling you about they burrow up in those holes and they'll come out and they'll just be hanging out in the sun. The sun's in the sun, the sun's in the clouds right now, but any other day that we get be out. Alright, so let me turn this around. Head back to the house. Get kinda hungry. My little chips I brought once it's not enough for me to stay sufficed. Perhaps if I was moving a little faster or I had a had a buddy to hang out with, I'd probably go over myself today. It's cool. We're out here, Jackson. But 
slow motor means we're not going as far as I would if I had a 25. If I had a 25, I'll be doing that little green skips going. In. Check out the other video, guys. Um, I'll try to add that in here if I can remember the, the link to the other video. It's, it's in my uh, investments slash builds uh, playlist, my 25 horsepower. So let's head on back. See you guys in a bit. All right, we are back on land. Uh, today was a good day out in the skiff, as you see. It's the last view. I'm about to grab my truck and back in the trailing, head on home. So appreciate you guys for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.